everybody, it's Dr. Joe and sweet Callie. And today I'm gonna to show you how to sit to stand when using a walker. So step one, move your dog. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So as you can see, I followed step one and removed the dog. And you might think I'm just kidding, but believe me, I have seen patients who have tripped and fallen over their dogs, their cats, even little grandchildren. So, you know, make sure you have a safe environment because lots of times, especially your pets, you know, they want to stay close to you, but sometimes you have to be a little firm with them so that they're not going to end up making you trip and then hurting yourself even more. So the biggest thing with getting up and getting down using a walker is to make sure you're doing it safely. A lot of times, this is what I see people try and do, and, and it's really kind of a bad situation because it's going to make it really hard to get up and it might even make people fall. People will grab their walker like this and try and pull on their walker to get up. So they're, they're trying to do this and then they're just going to plop right back down. See, that's kind of almost impossible to do. I could probably do it, but I'd probably strain something and then have issues. So when you, if you're trying to help somebody out or if you need to do it yourself and you're watching this, don't grab the walker with both hands. The easiest, best way to do it, and if you have, if you're in a chair with an armrest, that's the absolute easiest way to do it. But if you're not, you want to put one hand on the walker, and it doesn't really matter which hand. Um, if you, you know, want to use your dominant hand, you can, but it's really just there for stability. You're not using it to pull because then you're going to pull that walker towards you, and again, either you're going to end up hurting yourself or you're just not going to be able to get up. Then use the other hand either on the edge of the seat or again the armrest is usually the best if you're in a chair with armrest but obviously as you know not all chairs have armrests so that's why I'm doing it without one so you can see it. So you still want to do how you would get up normally and I have some videos for that the safest and easiest way. So you want to shift to the edge of the chair. Um, this is going to help give you that momentum to get up when you when you go to stand up. Whatever side is your strongest leg, sometimes I know that's not, it's not easy to, to decide because they're both weak. Whichever side you think is your, your strongest leg or your, maybe even your dominant side, you want to slide that back a little bit. So let's say my right leg is my, my stronger side. I'm going to slide it back just a little bit to help give me that push. So I'm sliding to the edge, putting that foot back, one hand on the walker, one hand on the chair, and then I'm going to push up and as soon as I get up then I put my other hand on the walker so see I'm keeping my hand here for that stability to keeping it there and then I'm pushing up where there's something sturdy so that's the goal you're pushing up here and you're using that stronger leg slightly behind you to get that push as you come up so really it's the same concept going back down a lot of times this is where people will, they want to hold on to their walker because they want to stay safe, but then they're trying to sit down like this. And that ends up again, they're either just going to plop down or they have all this in the way and you're going to miss the chair. So really the goal is take that one hand, leave one on the walker, start trying to find either the armrest, which will be easier to find, or as you're going down, put that one foot back, start reaching for the chair as soon as you grab it then you can support yourself and go back down but don't bring that walker with you because again that's just going to cause a lot of issues so let me go back in one more step i'm i'm here my walker's there it's slightly out in front of me because when i stand up i don't want to be so close to the chair so i'm going to scoot to the edge put my strong foot back put my hand on the seat here my other hand here on the walker to keep it steady and then i'm going to push up and then get that other hand here and the same thing put that stronger leg back just a little bit start reaching back for that chair as soon as i find it then sit down and then i can scoot back in so it's as simple as that it seems simple it looks like it should be simple but it really is a little bit more complicated if you have the walker and you're really relying on that walker for safety but that's really the safest way to do it so make sure you're practicing make sure you have somebody there to you know with you to practice so they can help you safely do it if need so um, you can have somebody else hold on to the walker over here they're standing here just to make sure that they're holding it the first couple times you do it so it doesn't come swinging back towards you so that's the couple different ways um, the that you can do it in the safest way I'm going to do it smoothly without saying anything, okay?
So there you have it. That's how to sit to stand when using a walker. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link up there and don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, don't trip over the dog. Have fun and I hope you feel better soon.